I wanted to talk about the military. What was it like to serve? Was it the US military you served in? Yes, so I was enlisted as a sailor uh, aviation ordinance in the United States Navy. Um, I was in for about six years, right out of high school, I joined. I got out in 2019, I think summer of 2019. It was a, a fun time. Right. So, so, so like, look, a lot of people who haven't joined the military don't know what happens in the military. Most of us think everyone that goes in there is a soldier with a gun. So what did you do and what was it like? And, you know, what happens where you, did you, were you drafted to different countries? What, what was the scenario being in the military? Um, so I was at aviation ordinance um, and basically my job without giving too much details and um, I was in charge of assembling ordnance, so bombs, missiles, rocket launchers on the flight deck. Um, and so that was, you know, primarily was what my job was. I know people always, <laughs> the look you're giving me is exactly how people, <laughs> It's exactly how people react when I tell them because I'm such a small person. <laughs> and so when they hear that and they're comparing it, it just, you know, sometimes it doesn't add up. But yeah, it it was it was a great time. Um I met some incredible people there. Um made some lifelong bonding with people. Um you know, unfortunately, it wasn't where, well, unfortunately and fortunately, <laughs> it wasn't where, you know, God needed me to be. Um, I think after six years, he needed me somewhere else. So he needed me to be Nanaba. So, so, so how, you know. how do you leave the military? Is it optional? Do you like, are there consequences? Because it, 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 it doesn't come across as if it's something you just leave from what is projected. Is it, do you... Um, you know, when you're joining, you have uh, an option of how long you want to sign up for. And so once that time comes, you get to decide, do you want to re-enlist or do you want to get out? And so for me, during that time, it was kind of like, okay, I think that I'm here um, where I want to be. I, I think I've done what I needed to do in this state. And so it's time for me to, you know, go ahead and move on. And so what, what year it was, was it that you left? What year was 2019. it? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Okay. Okay. So you don't mind if I ask? Um, can I? Can we touch on politics, or you don't want to touch on politics since you're in the military? Um, <laughs> we can we can dabble okay, so, a little bit. We so can I, I, crawl I, I, a little bit into politics. It's a little bit, and you know, there's a man that some people call the Orange Man, and he 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 took credit for rebuilding the u.s military is that true you know when it comes to the chain of command as a as an e5 which is uh very low compared to where his you know his title is i can't honestly say yes or no because there's so much that goes into making a claim like that and while i was stationed on board an aircraft carrier doing my part i don't know all of the details that comes together because i you know my sole job was to listen to orders and execute it i don't know where those orders came from and i don't know who all was involved in making that executive decision and so i honestly can't say yes or no to that um Honest answer, do you like him? <laughs> honest answer. Honest. I know you got your um, I know you're a proud African. Do you like him? Honest answer. I have two answers. Okay. As an African, no. Okay. What? As an African, no. However, being a veteran, I know the the level of effort it requires to maintain a military, you know, command. Um, and so, 
I do I think that he is a bad person I can't say because I, I don't know him personally um but as an African no he I wouldn't say he's my favorite person in the world um and that's strictly based on his demeanor towards Africans however as a as a veteran I think that you know as he said in his opinion he did what he thought was right and I can only really agree to disagree with his methods I I can't have an opinion as a veteran um uh yeah but as an African nah no well, obviously, I'm not going to, my face is not going to be in the interview. Only you can see me. But I'm sure you can see <laughs> now. I'm sure you can see my cap right now. Oh, my God. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Orange Man. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good. So, so as an African, did you feel at any stage, you know, um, being in the military, did you feel at any stage, hey, wow, like, here's what is going on in the U.S. military. I should be doing X, Y, and Z from Africa. Did, did being in the military in the U.S., serving the U.S. military, kind of make you sit down and say, hmm, this is what I should be doing for Africa? Do you think that had an impact on your leaving? Um, No, it didn't. Uh, mainly because... The, the journey that I'm on now, I didn't anticipate it when I was getting out. Um, I had no idea that this is where God was going to lead me. So it wasn't like a premeditated plan. Um, I, I, I will say that it had an effect on me spiritually in the sense that, you know, okay. like I said, my job was to assemble and disassemble ordinance. So, you know every ordinance that went away and didn't come back i knew that it went somewhere and i knew it had my name on it um i just don't know where it went but i know that it went somewhere and so the 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 destruction of wherever it went is you know kind of weighed on me very heavily and at some point i think that mentally it affected me very strongly um also i'm not new to war um not saying that I've been in the midst of war before, but you know, as as someone whose mother was around during the Liberian War, we ended up being refugees um, at the refugee camp in Ghana, and so I know the repercussions of war, and I know what it, it, you know the effects that it has on people, and so being directly involved in that, you know, it kind of hurt me, but. At the same time, I can never thank America enough for opening their arms to me and my family um, when we had nowhere to go. And so I don't feel entirely bad for se serving uh, my country because America is still my country. I'm African, but America is still my country. And I feel like at that time, I did what, you know, the best thing that I could do to show my appreciation for a country that open its arms to me and so i have no regrets on that at all right right and you know um within this period or at least should i say the four years that um trump was in power um i think no new wars were started that's what i've seen online you being in the military is that true that he did not open any new wars within his term of power um, I don't really want to comment on that because, like I said, uh, as an A5, yeah, there's there's a lot that goes into, you know, war war conversations and war talks. Um, that not every single sailor will have the inside scoop on, and so we we may say, you know, my my CEO might say, hey. Eisenhower, we're going to um, the Gulf, and it seems like a routine thing, but it might be very much to monitor things in case there is a war. And so I don't have all the details, so I can't say there was or there wasn't. Um, I just know that I did my time. Um, 
I did it honorably and you know I'm proud of being part of that family I'm proud of what I was able to contribute and you know that's I'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> So two more questions before we move off the army situation. If they raise the US flag, are you taking a knee or are you saluting? You know, <laughs> I feel like you're asking me all these very intense questions. I don't know what's going on. You know, you know. <laughs> as, as a black woman, as an African, I, okay, I, I would definitely take a knee. I served my time and I would have saluted then, but I'm no longer serving. I would take a knee. Can you take a knee and salute at the same time? Is that possible or that's not possible? I might just do both. <laughs> <laughs> I just do both. <laughs> and, and the last question is, what, what is the experience like as a woman in the army, being that you didn't have a direct combat role, did you have to do all the push-ups and the training and the marching or the fact that your role is not a combat role, you weren't engaged in all that stuff. And was there any like empowering feeling like a woman that's commanding men and women to execute certain things? Like what was that whole experience like? And just give me that in a few seconds, what that was like. Um, I, I'm going to be as blunt as I can. And, you know, this is my opinion. The, the United States military doesn't, it's not really catered or centered to the needs of black women. Um, I don't care who take offense to that. This is my opinion as a black woman who served for six years in the Navy, our needs and our, you know, our survival is very low on the important importance, you know, totem pole. Um, and so to, to make it, it's kind of like you almost have to give your entire soul <laughs> to, to, to the military to, you know, be able to even get, come out of it as, as a whole um there were a lot of female leadership roles um leadership positions female leadership persons um on board my ship and um you know i have relationship with some of them even now that i'm out um and so it's definitely something that's not like uncommon um there's definitely a lot of black females that have like you know higher ranking um you know, and they, they command, you know, they give orders and it has to be executed. It has to be followed. Uh, as far as the physical aspects of the military, yes, it doesn't matter who you are. The rules applies to everybody. Um, and you know, wow. sometimes, for example, me, I grew up in Africa where doing push-ups, it's not really part of my physical routine what we do is play soccer or we, you know, we go to the market from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. selling oranges in the market. And that's the workout because by the time you're done, <laughs> you're exhausted. Um, and so it was definitely new having to like run X amount of miles or whatever the case is, doing push-ups, doing sit-ups and you know, I'm in a better shape now that I'm out. But when I was in, I definitely didn't enjoy that aspect of the military. I, I don't like it. Ghana. TV. I came to slay, dude. 100%. 100%. Yeah, 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 African. Fashion. Fashion.